Yo, what's up, my life, my style? It's your boy Kevin here, back again with another style session. Now, before we get into it, if you are a first timer here at My Life, My Style, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you hit that subscription button so you can know when new content is coming. And also, for those of you who are returning, hit that notification bell so you can know up to date when new content is being downloaded onto the channel. Now, let's get into it. All right, so it is the fall season and this is the season for dressers. I mean, the fabrics, layering, uh, wools, cashmere pants, turtlenecks, leather jackets. I mean, I'm here for it all. Like, I just love dressing for the fall season. So um, right now, because it's the beginning of the season, I just wanna find a couple of cool pieces that I can feed into my existing wardrobe and not spend a lot of money to do it. So um, I popped by this spot GU and they are super dope. Look number one is super dope just because it's mad easy. I mean, there are three great pieces here that you should definitely add to your wardrobe. The utility shirt jacket is just a great piece to mix and match, and also a light layering piece, especially for early fall. A pop of color hoodie is super dope just because it adds that pop of color to any look. You could definitely wear it under a leather or denim jacket. And then a pair of khakis. I chose these in olive green just because I have a few pair of brown already, and olive felt like a great pair to add to the wardrobe. For look number two, I decided to do something a little bit more rugged. I paired back a lumberjack check shirt with a light anorak, and then did those two pieces on top connected with a pair of corduroy pants. Uh, cords are a huge trend this season, something that's been a little bit scary for me in terms of my wardrobe, but I decided to give them a try. I thought they turned out really cool, reminded me of a Canadian park ranger kind of feel, um, and then paired back to my signature hat from Override. I thought this was a pretty good weekend running around look. Oh, and yo, here is a quick peek at what the jacket looks like with the hood up. Super functional, super lightweight, just loved how it turned out. Yo, so all of the pieces that I bought from GU for this try-on session, I mean, the colors were uh, navy, of course, which is in my regulars, but there was also a lot of olive green that I pulled. I pulled a lot of tan, um, mixed a lot of darker checks. So, you know, after looking at everything in the style detail of all the pieces that I bought, um, especially this military shirt, I just felt like it's giving me a very utilitarian kind of feel. Um, so I'm excited about that just because that's not really my thing. I actually have more clean lines when I'm dressing. The third look is definitely my favorite out of the bunch. It just felt the most like me. I love mixing the bold striped sweater with the flannel check shirt and then pairing those back to the pants, which completely surprised me as to how quality that they look. Um, then I wanted to try something a little different, so I pulled the sweater off and just paired the pants back to the flannel shirt, which felt a little streetwear polish to me, which I love, especially paired back to my new Louis Nigo collab loafer. For look number four, this also was one of my favorites and probably because it had a cardigan layered in. Love this gray cardigan, especially paired under the utility shirt jacket, which felt really fresh and on season for me. And then paired back to a wallaby I got last season with the animal print, just added that right pop that I needed. Look number five is just easy. It's the utility shirt jacket and also a pair of jeans. The jeans are not GU, they're actually my own from Edwin that I bought in Japan maybe about four years ago. Yo, I couldn't forget to mention the shirt that's under the jacket. It's a flannel mandarin collar shirt. Super dope, great layering piece.
All right, y'all, for look number six, I dare to say that this is actually one of my favorites as well. I mean, I love sweatshirts. I think sweatshirts are just the quintessential item in any man's wardrobe. I think, especially today, it's a great piece to dress up or dress down. Um, I've paired it back to a pair of check pants, which I think keeps it really young and fresh. Um, and doesn't make the sweatshirt feel super sloppy like what people think when they think about a sweatshirt. Um, I also paired this back to a pair of bowlers from OAMC and a white sock, which is a huge trend that I'm totally all about this fall season. Um, I just love this look. It's just simple, clean, classic, straight to the point, and actually not a lot of money. All right, everybody, so we just went through seven. <laughs> <laughs> seven different ways to pull all of these pieces together to rock some great looks. Now, one thing I will mention about GU is nothing that I pulled in terms of an individual item was more than 2,500 yen or about $25, $30. The most expensive thing was about 5,000 yen. That was the parka that you saw that I wore with the corduroys. Um, and that was about 50, $55 if, you know, picking and choosing an exchange rate and all of that other stuff. So, yo, if you like what I'm doing again hit that subscription notification button and other than that I will check you all next time peace out